Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe button down below and go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Like, comment, subscribe, do all those things. That does really help me out a lot. It helps me grow my channel. And for today's video, I just want to talk about my hair journey. So as you can see, I have short hair right now. Um, I used to have long hair. Uh, I'll pull up a picture. This was when I had long hair. I always wear my hair up with a bun every day and I was just kind of sick of wearing my hair the same every day. It was just kind of getting old like I wore it with a bandana up every day and I do wear a bandana often still but that's because my hair was at an awful length so I am trying to regrow it. I did cut it really short and it was nice a nice switch up. I did that about in like December so which would have been like it's probably about six months ago so it's been like half a year since I cut my hair and I miss my bun, I really do, but I wanted to grow it a lot different. It was very dead, it was very long and I didn't like it and it, it needed to go and the short hair was fun for a while but I just, I don't like it on me personally. I might cut it off again eventually but I am trying to regrow it so I've been learning like how to regrow your hair and keep it healthy because my hair was not healthy before and I'm happy that I am regrowing it but when I had my hair cut short I had an undercut and I loved it and I will get it back like I had the sides and the back and it was my favorite but at this point the thing that bugs me the most is the sides and it's been very hard to style my hair I just now started liking how I'm doing it because before I was always wearing bandanas if you watch any of my previous videos I was always wearing bandanas and headbands of some sort because it was such an awful length and that middle length is the worst and I just got through my first one and I know I kind of like it now. I just don't like the sides. And I do need to go in for a little like maintenance cut just to get the sides like trimmed up and everything. Because uh, you're supposed to go typically like every eight weeks. You don't want to go too much while you're growing your hair out. But I want to get it to like the length right here and then bring my undercut. Enough so I can put it up if I want and still wear it down and like it. So that's kind of what I'm going for right now. And I just want to show you guys how I do my hair now because like I said, I am growing it back. And I'm just going to be taking you guys on this whole process of me growing out my hair. Um, I've posted a couple videos every few months just to show you where my hair length is at. And then in the end, I'll do a final compilation. But first, I wanted to start off by showing where my hair was in March to show the growth of hat scent. So it looks like this. I kind of feel like I have a mullet. Um... But I don't, but I really feel like I do. I keep telling my mom that. So let me pull up a picture. This is when I first cut my hair. I don't have a lot of good pictures of it, but that was my, that wasn't when I first cut my hair. That was my last haircut, which was the shortest I've ever gone. The picture I showed was a lot different. And then this is what they did. Like the picture you saw of me, that is what happened. It was very short. It was basically like a one on the sides and the top was very short. Like it was... I have like these really short pieces right here that just never grow, probably like this length. So obviously my hair in three months has grown a lot, but it's still really short. So I'm just gonna show you guys how I do my hair and what I do now to get it like this, which I haven't done my hair yet today, but I did, I do stuff to get it to this point right now. I hate these ends, they're so annoying. But anyway, I guess now I'm just gonna show you how I do my hair now and the products I use to kind of help it grow and I think they work I'm not sure I mean I feel like it's just time that's the only thing that really works but I just try things just in case because I do want my long hair back and honestly I might grow back out hate it and cut it again I'm not sure it's just fun to go through the process and I want to take you guys along with me so this will just be the first video and then there'll be some more follow-ups of where my hair is at or if I get sick of it and shave it all off but I've been debating on just doing the sides and back again like cutting them short and just growing the top because that's what I want to do with the long hair anyway. But I don't know, that might be weird. So basically to get my hair like this, I typically shower at night. And when I get out of the shower, what I do is I use this stuff. It's not your mother's way to grow leave-in conditioner. So I got this because I use leave-in conditioner anyway. And this is supposed to help you grow it. And I don't like to buy like expensive products or like hair growth because I don't think those are really like real but this is already a different product in itself like I already need leave-in conditioner anyway and it has whatever that is in it that's supposed to help hair growth and honestly I do really like this 
my hair has been growing a lot quicker and I don't know if it's because of this or not but honestly just in general this does feel really good I just spray it like right through the middle on the sides and then I just kind of brush it through with a ruler comb and that's pretty much it when your hair is damp I just towel dry it and then do that and then the only other thing I really do well I do two other things I use this here which is a restoring oil um, miracle restoring oil basically hair oil is really is really nice to use in your hair for just keeping it healthy and healthy hair is going to be key to growing your hair so I do use this uh, it's this one that I use I know um, what's it called argan oil argan oil that's what it is it's supposed to be really good for your hair too argan hair oil so I use those and then I go ahead and add mousse just to kind of give it some texture and like volume that's how i get this volume because when it's like really flat like obviously it's not good and i kind of wear it like this typically i'm starting to kind of like how it looks now before i hated i could not style my hair anyway and i know it's gonna get longer and even more annoying when it gets to like right here but right now i'm kind of liking it for the first time in a while which is nice because when you're growing your hair out and you're at those awful points, you just want to shave it all off. But I want to obviously get to the end goal and show you guys how I get there. So that's what I do at night. Then I just go to bed, just don't do anything else with it damp. And when I wake up, sometimes if my hair is just really not working or if I have to shower in the morning or anything, I'll do the same stuff in the morning. And then I have a spray bottle, you know, just in case I need to get it back to where it goes or whatever I don't even know but I have a spray bottle so I would recommend a spray bottle and then when I wake up I haven't done my hair yet today so I'm gonna do this part with you guys I use this dry shampoo I love dry shampoo I always use it I use it when I had long hair as well because it kind of honestly like yeah it, it was washing your hair daily or even like every other day is kind of bad you're supposed to do it like two three times a week and I know a lot of people that is really hard your hair gets really greasy but I like this kind, the coconut and exotic tropical is my favorite because it's just very beachy and I like the beach. So that's one I get. It is by Batiste and it is my favorite that I've ever used. I've had a couple different brands but Batiste is my favorite and you can find it Walmart, CVS, any pharmacy. You can pretty much find it anywhere. And besides it just being a dry shampoo, it also adds a lot of volume to your hair. And I like that for that reason as well. It's kind of like a styler. But basically I just spray it in on my roots. Like that and then in the back and then sometimes it'll get like cloudy or whatever you just you have to rub it in brush it through comb it through with your fingers either way I just want to shave my sides so bad all right and as you can see it already has a lot more volume and my hair looks like I just washed it instead of I mean, I just washed it last night, but like, you know, it just makes it feel and look good. And then, honestly, the only other thing I really do is I use this. It's by Got To Be. I don't know. I just got it at the pharmacy. And it is, uh, looks like that. It feels really weird. It's a pomade. And then I have a clay that I also use if my hair is not working and it's not going. But typically, when I do all this stuff, I just kind of let it go natural. I don't like the look of super greased back or anything so I just rub this stuff in really good like that and then I just comb it through I like this stuff because it's not like a super thick hold but it's still not light like it's like a four I think but it's for a messier look so it it's not gonna like stick all your hair together it's gonna keep it all nice and separate And then I always like to keep this kind of up here like floppy, you know, and then the sides I always push back. And sometimes if they're not staying, I'll use stronger, something of a stronger hold. I have a, like the clay that I have or something like that just to keep them back. Keep it tamed. And then that is really all I do. The back drives me absolutely crazy because I don't like how long it is in the back. But overall, I do like my hair like this. I finally found something that I actually like. Um, pull those over, you know, maybe. 
And I'm excited for it to get a little bit longer where I can, you know, do like a middle part type look or, you know, it's just kind of fun that growing hair because you can try all sorts of new things, see what you like. A lot of times I really like a style like I might like now, like I like this on me, but other people are like, no, nah, I liked it so much better before. Like I used to wear my hair spiked up and I hated it, but people loved it, but I just didn't like how it looked on me. So that's kind of fun with growing your hair out because you get to see it at all different levels i might like it when it's like right here and keep it you know that type of thing but basically i just want to show you guys how i do my hair now when i'm trying to grow it because i know growing your hair out can be really frustrating so if you are in the process of growing your hair just keep going don't just shave it all off and if you get to the point where you want it like have a goal in mind my goal is to be able to put it up and get my undercut back and still wear it down and like it because my hair used to be too long and dead so that's kind of my goal. I'll kind of put a picture of kind of what I'm going for. Kind of like a man bun look. And I say man bun because typically guys that have longer hair, their buns are a little smaller and their sides are a lot of times shaved. And that's kind of what I'm going for versus before when I just had a traditional bun. I have a goal and then once you get there and you don't like it and you want to go back short, go for it. And then you could try a million other different things. There's a lot of things I'm going to try. It's just kind of fun. So I just want to take you guys on my journey with me so this will be the first video there'll be more to follow obviously later on i mean your hair is not going to grow super quick but that's just kind of how i do my hair now and i'm starting to wear bandanas and stuff less because it's not awful i mean it's still not where i want it to be yeah and then this is my favorite so i definitely recommend that and i also do take biotin every day well i try to take it every day i don't know if it works i feel like it's just one of those things like it does help your hair like be stronger in your nails and everything so it's not bad to take it but honestly most people aren't really lacking biotin in their body so their hair is growing at its natural pace anyway so taking that really doesn't do much it's not going to be bad for you but it's not going to like dramatically change the way your hair grows unless you are lacking biotin in your body but most people aren't and you don't really know that so you take it so I mean you can take it I mean I do obviously but I don't know if that's like the one thing to rely on or Things like that, it's just kind of time and making sure your hair is healthy, which is why the restoring oil is really nice. But that's all. Thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy this video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. And go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you made it this far. It does really help me out a lot. I'll see you guys next video. Bye.